back again with another banger video. Yo, shout out to my little sister, um, Marla, man. We be having fun and like, we just be like talking like that. But yeah, that probably will be my intro. This is Bookman back again with another banger video. Anyway, this video is about my experience in Florida, December, 2021, 25th to the 1st, right? So I'm gonna bring it back to like, Ever since high school, right, before I was even raw or like before I was even focused on food, I always said I wanted to move to like a warmer climate because like clearly like I'm dark as heck, right? Like I'm dark skin, right? So like I had the melanin to absorb all like the sun rays. It's really like, like I always say my, ancest my ancestors didn't even know what like snow was. And if they did, it's because they read it somewhere or they traveled somewhere else. But anyway, for like my skin tone and also the fact that I'm just trying to eat like more and more fruit and the more high quality fruit is in like a tropical environment. So you, it's hard to really, I'm in Philly now, right? Um, Pennsylvania, and it's like, we could grow stuff here, but it's like in the winter season, it's like, uh, there's not much options. So I always wanted to move to like between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. And Florida is like a bit on top of the, the tropic, but anyway, it's not a tropical, it's the only subtropical place in the US, right? So I always wanted to go to like a warmer climate, but I just never had like the, like, finances or like the connections or like the like freedom to move down there you feel me so it's like it was always like oh damn i'm gonna go, go all the way like to, to, to this different state and i don't even like know, know anyone right but now it's like i have more friends down there right so shout out to alicia tunky right so she moved there i believe the start of 2021 or the end of 2020 and like as soon as she moved down there she's like bro you gotta come down there Bro, you gotta come in there. Bro, I got a job. Bro, like she just always like was so motivated me so much to go down there, right? And like I already said I wanted to go, but like seeing her do it when she was literally like around me and just seeing her just go all the way down, I'm like yo, it was like really really inspiring, right? So then I was just like kept like uh, thinking about it, kept thinking about it, and, like I kept saying I wanted to like go. <clears throat> I was planning on going like last year, but didn't really like go out entirely well. I remember it was like November, it was Thanksgiving last year, and I saw to uh, Aubrey as well, because she like what was in Florida for a bit, then she came down to Philly for like this Thanksgiving party her friends were having, and then she's like, yo, bro, just come, just come down to Florida for in the, 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 uh, December. And then at first I'm like, what? How am I just gonna go down to Florida in December? Like, I'm like working every day, da, da, da. but then I'm like, oh, I definitely didn't use none of my time, you know what I mean? Like my time off, right? And it only is like, what, like, Runs your father, like hundred the tickets. So I'm like, hmm, cause no, okay, I'm gonna like actually like go there. So then, I like bought like I bought the ticket, and then on like the 25th and like three, I really slept like the night before because I was packing like a lot. My brother picked picked me up um at like three or like 4 a.m. I believe or like no, it was like I think it was early. It was pretty early. He picked picked me up around the time. He drove he drove me to the airport, and then I'm going through like the airport. No. So, like, I have, like, formal clothing on, and I have, like, this jacket on, and then, like, it's cold outside, but then inside the airport, it's, like, hot as heck. So, I'm just in there, like, sweating my head off, right? And plus, I lost my phone, and I was, like, panicking at first, but then, luckily, a lady helped me, um, find it. So, then, I'm on, I'm on a plane. It's only, like, a two-hour plane ride. And also, that was the first time I got on a plane ride, like, by myself, because usually, when I would travel, like, before, like, to Florida or, like, Haiti, because my dad used to, like, live in Florida, so I used to, like, go back and forth, and then... When he brought us, like, hey, I'll just go, like, with my, my dad, right? And, like, um, my dad's side of the family. But this time was the first time going on myself. So it was definitely, like, a, a big boy step, I'll, I can say, right? So it was just cool just going by myself. And also, on the plane ride, I was reading um, The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. And it was funny because, like, as I was reading it, like, looking over Florida, I just had this overwhelming, like, power, like, I could conquer this shit. <laughs> I could legit, like, I could, like, network. Like, as soon as I land, I could just network. And it's, like, with everybody, right? And then shout out to like Margaret because she like picked me up from like the airport. And then she was driving me around. She brought me to like this juice bar. We got some juice, some fruit. And then we were just out like as soon as I got there, it was so beautiful because like everything looked better. It's like even if like in Philly, like the underpasses for the highways are great, right? In, in Florida, they're like tan and pink. And I'm like, what? And like, and like they just have like a bunch of trees. I heard birds, bro. As soon as, soon as like, like a few minutes into the car, ride, I'm like, I'm in the right place because I heard birds. And I know that. That might seem like this out there, but it's like being in the cold climate, especially in the winter, we don't hear birds, bro. <laughs> so going there and being able to hear birds is like the like best thing ever. So then 
she also brought me she was like, oh, yeah, let's go like see like Grayson, right? Like this other friend I met from like Woodstock. And I was like, oh, it's so much. I'm like, oh my God, we're going to see Grayson. Let's go. So then I go, right? She brings it. So first of all, I go into the property. They have fucking lychee trees outside. I believe it's, yeah, I believe they had like lychee trees outside. I'm like, bro. <laughs> like we're just driving. We didn't, we're not even at the house. We're driving in. They have lychee trees on the tree. I'm like, whoa, y'all. So then I go there and then. I go inside, right? And to me, I'm like, oh, it's Grayson now. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to see Grayson. But then, I didn't realize this at first, but the people I met at Woodstock, like, not only were they friends, but, like, they lived together. So I'm like, oh, you all live together. Like, and when, when I thought, when I was visualizing me going to Florida, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to see, like, a dozen or so of friends. And I went there, and there's, like, multiple dozen. I'm like, oh, I actually know you all, right? So that was um, really beautiful, right? And then, where was that? Yeah, so then I'm like talking to like Grayson and like everyone else in like the space, and then it's like a whole property, right? And then I'm just like, this is immaculate. And then we was just like, it's cool because the conversation I was having with like Margaret is also the conversation I was having with like them about like the land and like property and fruit. Because I feel like people on this raw and fruit journey, we speak about like a very similar ideal and vision and goal. So it was really cool. And I kind of shout out to like um, Coco as well because he was teaching us how to like climb like these coconut trees, which was funny as shit. And then we kind of got sucked into like just like the conversation like me and Margaret, we just got like sucked into it because we just wanted to be there like the entire time, right? But then um, I, it was the 25th, right? So I told um, Angelica and Adele that on the 25th I would be at their like um, play for place, right? Those are like um, my friends. So like I was really, I'm like, yo, we gotta go, we gotta go, right? So then <laughs> they're literally like neighbors, bro. I like, I, in my head, I'm like, okay, like. It's gonna be my friends over here, then like a different part of me. Like, they're literally like less than like 10 minutes away, one group of friends, another group of friends. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> so then I get there, right? Um, Margaret, you're there. I'm not gonna nerd. Adele like runs out, like, it was, like this huge, like, like she legit scared the fuck out of me, bro. I was like, she ran to her so fucking quick, bro. And then she gave me like this huge, she's like, hey, da, 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 da. and then like, um, she like, um, walked me and like Margaret around her, like, land, because she has like, her and her um, partner, Rain, they have, like, all these, like, fruit trees and, like, land. And I was just, like, in awe. I'm like, whoa, bro. Like, y'all got fucking mango cheese and papaya cheese. Because, you know, like, that's the whole fruitarian vision. Like, everyone has to have their own land and their fruit. Like, that's the pinnacle. Like, that's enlightenment for a fruitarian. Like, enlightenment for a fruitarian is having their own land and their own fruit. You feel me? So, I was, like, in awe and just, like, taking everything um, in. And it was, like, really, like, um beautiful. So, I spent, they, op they um, opened up the space for me. So, I spent, like, um... Uh, I believe, I forgot exactly how I went, I did one or two days, two days with them, and it's like, it was so beautiful, because they had like a little legit, like a whole room for me, they were like, bro, here's your fruit, here's your bed, you need any help, we got you, and I'm like, huh, I felt like so loved, you feel me, just like so, I like, appreciate that, they just open up, because that's a lot, you know, you don't like just let anyone into your house to like stay, you know what I mean, so they just oh, uh, oh, uh, open up the space to me, which I really appreciated, then after that, my friend uh, Alicia, she lives in like Naples, right, so then she picked me up, a few days after that and then uh the, the car ride us here was like beautiful as well because we had to go through like the um, everglades so we were just like vibing catching up and like in, in like the middle we like stopped and then we got to like look at the stars and like everything and i was just, like oh my god like we see in stars because in philly you like you see one or two stars here and there but over there it was just like such a beautiful environment and then we were staying at her like family's like condo and then like a few other friends came so i was with them for a while, so while, while I was in Naples, I really got to like go to a lot more like restaurants and everything. You feel me? And also, well, I think that was the day afterwards. She brought me to like Winwood, Winwood, Winwood. It's like the art um section of like um Florida basically, and uh, that was a blast as well. We got to see like all these different shops, all these different people. It was just like uh, it's always a, a, a such a fun time with like Leisha. So that was a good memory um as well. And we, it's always like surreal even look, uh, looking back on it because we went to so much different places. So. I spent a couple days with them. Then, um, uh, Juicy Justine and Anne, right? They, Justine, she lives in like Chicago. And then my other friend Anne, she lives in Florida, right? So then Justine was in Florida as well. And I'm at her was like, I'm like, yo, everyone is like, just like, hub, like, like connecting here without even like intentionally doing it. So we was like, oh yeah, we gotta like see like them. And then when it's like daylight came, we, we um, took them to like raw restaurants as well. And we just like vibing out. And this is like, it's so cool just like going different, like back and forth between different vibes and like different energies and like different places to get to see different parts of Florida because most likely I'm going to be in Homestead because that's where like the farmers are and I want to learn from like the farmers but it was cool just to see like the different 
aspects, you know, and like the different vibes and like lifestyles. So like after um I spent time with um Anna and Justine, my friend K Kakao, shout out to Kakao. He like drove me back to like um Homestead and I spent like the rest of my time there. And like on my birthday, right? Oh, this is like so ever since I was young, I've loved Studio Ghibli films, right? And I always said in my head I just wanted to like just chill out and like vibe out on my Studio Ghibli films with like my friends, right? And then my friend um Adele, she literally has a whole collection. So on my birthday, I got to like watch like Studio uh, Ghibli just vibe out them. And this is cool, just like because it's like I'm in the network, but in the network, then like, other people are coming in and out of the network as well. And like everyone like hard. I felt like the freshman in high school, right? But the only difference was I was cool with everybody. Like I'm cool with like the bullies, the teachers, the cute girls, the nerds, the janitors, the teachers, the principals. Like like I'm cool with the deans. I'm cool with everybody because it's like I went there and it's like art. Everyone else already had their like cliques and their preconceived energies, like notions. Even be like, be like for when people had their, pre their preconceived notions or thoughts about people. But I'm the type of person I like to experience people like for myself first before I like I let other people's judgment go in them. But I went there and I was vibing out with everybody. Like I was back and forth just vibing out with everybody. And like neighbors, they like took me to like the beach. It's funny because I've never been to a beach in the U.S. So I've only been to beaches in Haiti. So that was lit. Um, also, my like my friend. I don't really have like this like company where they have like a, it got like <laughs> they have this room co uh, co uh, company right and then my like other friends work like work with it right so like I'm in the house just like chilling and I forgot like a part of me forgot I'm like oh and I went to like the farm I'm like oh you guys work here it's like a whole it's a whole thing <laughs> it's like it's a whole because my I don't know like I just, this is what, like it took me like my mind a bit times to like make get the two together say like, oh we work in like this like you you live here but then you come here to like work on the farm and like everyone else is like connected so yeah it had like so much there's more memories than i could even explain but i'm very adamant to go there this year i'm adamant to move down there like my goals for this year fix my car go to woodstock move to florida switch my collect here to like web web the limit it's like the environment is like the environment and the people because it's not only an environment it's just having like a network of people there that I could also tap into. I'm definitely move, I'm moving down like I have to. It's like there's no order, there's no ifs and buts. Regardless of how long it takes, regardless of how much like how much I got to do, I'm going to move down there. So it was a really beautiful experience. And I remember, oh yeah, on the 31st, bro, our friend, um, friends, friends, Paul, he has this like this boat, right? And then he like took took us out to sea, and then like he was on the boat, and then he was like uh bump like bumping on the waves. And I remember Angelica, she was asking me. Oh, did you enjoy your year? Like this is one of my favorite moments. She was like, "Did did you enjoy your year?" And I was like, at first I wasn't sure, cause 2021 started off the worst, like the worst, <laughs> like the worst. But like the person closest to me in my life, they kind of stepped away, and also like my car got smashed, and those two were like inter connected. So my self esteem, like it was like my self esteem was here. I was like. Shoo! Like it was like a done, right? So my years are really, really bad. I was really depressed for like a few, a few months. But after Woodstock, and after going to Florida, in that exact moment when she asked me, I'm like, I think it was a good, a good year, honestly. Like it really, really was. Even though it started off the worst, it ended off the best. And I'm really grateful to everyone who, who was in my life last year because it was like, my life just keeps getting better. Like, 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 like in 2020, I said it was the best year of my life, right? Well, actually, 2021 was the best year of my life, right? And now, 2022 is about to be even like it's like it's a gradual elevation. Um, there's so much I can say about Florida. I went to a lot of different spots, but yeah, that was my general experience. Oh, I did also. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember what I did. So, the 31st, my friends sister she had like um she brought weed and like um beer or something like that right and i was sober i should make another video about that mm, i should make another video about that so you're gonna have to watch that video to learn oh but yeah i'm gonna <laughs> i'll make another video about my um experience last year being celibate and sober and my experience now not being celibate and sober and see um this is like because i feel like uh, especially as like men I, I should especially for like men i feel like i really have to delve into these topics because i'm seeing like a lot of men like waste their life for his energy in ways that don't probably don't serve them the fullest so like i feel like as a man i gotta like, share share my experience so other man could like get like light and like guidance from it but um what else yeah man florida was lit right now oh well the other part i came back to philly bro 
I was so depressed, bro. Like, going from the beach, going from Worf a day beforehand, coming to clouds and wearing a coat, that, like, fucked me up, bro. I'm like, yo, what am I doing with my life, bro? Like, my friend leaves it at, like, fucking fruit and, like, trees and i'm over here like with a coat trying to block the snow and so i was so depressed but luckily like i got i got out out of that more than now i got more motivation to um go back but um i don't feel like i'm missing a point if i if i am missing a point i'm just gonna like make another video fuck it but, um thank you for like the bottom of my heart everyone who opened up their space their minds and their hearts to me you guys definitely um I feel like I'm like the freshman in high school, honestly. And it's, it's actually funny because I was the youngest one there, except for Angelica. Like all these other people were like older than me, well, except Angelica and like probably two other friends. The majority of the other people were during like like 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, like and even uh, above that. But it's I was still like accepted. So, um, yeah, I love Florida. <laughs> That's gonna be my state. That's gonna be like my hood, and I'm excited to go back. And um, thank you for watching this. Hope you enjoy your day and. I'll speak to that, did you? <laughs>